Thanks for joining me on episode 1002 of the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. Hi, I'm Dan Miller from 48days.com. I challenge you to invest in yourself, invest in others, develop your influence, and impact the world by using your time, your talent, and your treasures to live out your calling. Having the ability to find the work you love is key, and one way to be inspired to do that is to listen to this the Inspired Stewardship Podcast with my friend, Scott Mater. You know, the truth is, sometimes when we pray for patience, what we really should be praying for is love and trust instead. Love for each other, love for God, and love for ourselves, as well as trust in God, because that's what results in having patience. Welcome and thank you for joining us on the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. If you truly desire to become the person who God wants you to be, then you must learn to use your time, your talent, and your treasures for your true calling. In the Inspired Stewardship Podcast, you will learn to invest in yourself, invest in others, and develop your influence so that you can impact the world. In today's Spiritual Foundation episode about investing in others, I talk with you about why the expression, don't pray for patience, is both right and wrong. I talk about what patience really means to us, and I also share why there are other things we can pray for instead. On yesterday's episode, one of the jokes that Barbie and I were talking about was about this idea of don't pray for patience, and we both laughed. But this is one of those expressions that I've used, I've said, and I hear a lot in Christian circles about how you should never pray for patience because God will put you through a bunch of trials and tribulations so that you can learn to develop patience. And in some ways, that's right, and in others, that's wrong. The wrongness around it is it makes God sound like some sort of punishing schoolmaster or somebody who looks at it and cackles with glee, oh great, I've got a, a good chance to put somebody put through things so that they'll learn this new idea. But the rightness of it is, I do think sometimes when we start praying for patience, it's because we're already going through something that requires patience. We're already going through a time of struggle. If you think about it, I think Job is the the poster child for patience in the scripture. And the word patience, the, the Greek word that we translate as patience, is readily better translated as long-tempered or slow to anger. And in that way, I do think it's something that we as human beings need to develop. We need to learn to pray for. I, I think when we get tired of seeing our own struggles and the struggles of others, we need to recognize that we do have to endure it in some way. That doesn't mean we just put up with it. That doesn't mean we don't act to change it. That doesn't mean that if you're in an abusive situation, you just stay there and take it. Instead, it does mean that we need to develop the ability to rest in the Lord and work within what God is putting in our path, how we can give up the annoyance and the anxiety and the worry, and we can put that over to God. And then out of that, we can learn the idea of patience and patient action. It's more complicated than we make it out to be. We often can be put in situations where we're dealing with health problems, we're dealing with emotional problems. We're dealing with trials and tribulations. We're going through something that isn't where we want to be. And yet we can look at this and we can say that we develop the ability to rest in God, to put over our fatigue and our worry and our tiredness to God. That is learning patience. And again, sometimes we can learn patience in these sorts of times. That doesn't mean we're perfect. That doesn't mean that we're not going to lose our temper when we're in traffic sometimes or have other problems like that that come about. And yet, 
patience does matter because it shows a maturity. It shows that we're not just there roughing it out, sucking it up, put, doing it all on our own. Quite the opposite. God has created us to be someone who loves others and who loves God. And if that is how we're created, is to be in relationship with others, then learning patience isn't about just learning endurance or learning to put up with it. Rather, it's about learning to reflect the love of God and the love of others despite what's going on around us. Patience can support our relationships because Let's face it, if the world was such that everyone just did what you want them to do when you want them to do it, you wouldn't need patience. But that's not the world we live in. And what's more, it shouldn't be the world we even hope for. Instead, we have to begin to recognize that our desires for someone else isn't always their desires for themselves. We don't need to put our agenda onto other people. That sort of the point of this. Patience is held up as a virtue in the Bible, and a great virtue as well, because patience is actually the result of trusting God. Patience is the fruit of the Spirit that comes from trusting God. Patience is a result, not a cause. It's not the thing that lets us have endurance during times of struggle. Instead, it results from learning to trust God, even when things aren't going well, even when there's a moment of dissatisfaction, even when there's trouble, we still love and trust God. And that's godly patience, so to speak. That's recognizing that we can act within patience or we cannot act. Either way is okay. Patience can be quiet and sitting and staying and listening, and patience can be active and working and trying to make the outcome change depending on what's needed, because it is a fruit of the Spirit. It's showing that trust in God. And sometimes what God is telling us to do is act. Sometimes God is saying, hey, that is an injustice in the world that you are observing. Act to correct that injustice. And other times God is saying, sit quietly this morning and listen and sit still and just be for a moment. And that is enough. You know, the truth is, sometimes when we pray for patience, what we really should be praying for is love and trust instead. Love for each other, love for God, and love for ourselves, as well as trust in God, because that's what results in having patience. Thanks for listening. Thanks so much for listening to the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. As a subscriber and listener, we challenge you to not just sit back and passively listen, but act on what you've heard and find a way to live your calling. If you enjoyed this episode, do me a favor. Go over to facebook.com slash inspired stewardship and like our Facebook page and mark it that you'd like to get notifications from us so that we can connect with you on Facebook and make sure that we're serving you to the best of our abilities with time and tips there. Until next time, invest your time, your talent, and your treasures, develop your influence, and impact the world.